Okay guys, so here we are getting ready to do our experiment to measure the density of three different versions of Coca-Cola. So what I've got here is what most of us are used to having, Coca-Cola, original taste. And you'll see in the ingredients, we've got carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, etc. right? But we look at this Coca-Cola here, I got from the store. Aha, the ingredients are carbonated water, cane sugar, not high fructose corn syrup, but cane sugar, caramel color, etc. cetera. Right? And then lastly, some of us prefer this stuff, which I think is pretty yucky, Diet Coke. Right? And it's got carbonated water, caramel color, and then aspartame, okay? So that's the big differences between these three types of Coke. So like I said before, what we gotta do is we gotta measure, to measure the density, we need to know the mass and the volume. Right? So to do the mass, we've got our analytical balance, digital balance. And for volume, we've got these three different types of glassware. Now, when I was trying this experiment out, I realized that we had a bit of a problem. And I'll show you what that is, okay? Oh, you might already have a feeling about what it is, okay? So when I do this, you notice I've got a bit of a problem with these bubbles, right? Where are those bubbles coming from? That's why we like it so fizzy, right? That's that CO2. All right, so to get rid of all these bubbles, what we're gonna do is we're gonna degas the soda, right? So put it in a sidearm flask. You notice there's this arm here. I'm gonna insert a magnetic stir bar, put a stopper on, put this whole thing on a stir plate. I'm going to hook it up to a vacuum line. And now you should see the bubbles start to rise. As I turn on the... Doo -doo -doo. Come on now. There it goes. Okay, vacuum is on. I'm gonna stir it around to help agitate a little. Okay, so now after about 10 minutes of degassing, you can see there really aren't any bubbles coming up anymore. So we can stop this, we can turn off our stir plate, we can turn off the vacuum, disconnect, and voila. Just like a cooking show, right? So we've got Coke with corn, uh, with cane sugar, excuse me, corn with high, Coke with high fructose corn syrup, and then our Diet Coke. So we've got all three versions already degassed. See, here are our beakers, right? And let's just do a measurement. Um, let's just start with just the Coke that we're all familiar with, the high fructose corn syrup, okay? So to do this measurement first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear the beaker. So if we were to put the Coke in here and we were weigh it, you get both the measurement, both the mass of the beaker and the Coca-Cola, right? But we only wanna know the mass of the Coca-Cola, not that of the beaker. So we'll tear it first, put it here. Okay, wait for the measurement to stabilize and then press this button that says OT, that's tearing, zeroing or tearing. Perfect, looks stable, great. Now, for this beaker, I'm gonna try to pour out approximately 50 milliliters of volume, right? So this is a 100 milliliter beaker and you see there's these gradations for 20, 40, 60, 80. So right here, that would be 50. So I'm gonna try to do that to the best of my ability. Okay, nice and flat, no bubbles. Makes me thirsty, okay, great. And it looks like, well, there's not much of a meniscus here, right? There's not much curvature to that. Looks like I'm pretty much at 50, as good as it's gonna get for me. And let's weigh it. All right, 50.7455, what? Socks, Q-tips? No, you gotta remember the units. Grams, G for grams. So make sure when you write that down, write down the proper units, okay? It's moving just a little bit. It looks pretty good now, 50.7451 <laughs> grams. It will fluctuate 
just a very, very tiny bit. All right, great. So let me try to do it again. Did you write that down? I hope so. You have it on the video, okay. So now here's another beaker, right? And we're gonna do that measurement again to see, see how reproducible it is. Can I get the same thing, okay? And again though, this beaker, empty beaker, might be a little bit different in, in mass than the previous one. So we have to pair this one as well. All right, see, it's a little bit different. So we need to zero that again. So that, now we're not gonna account for the mass of the beaker by itself, right? We're only going to be recording the mass of the Coca-Cola. Okay, so here we go again, same type of beaker. So I'm going up to about the 50 mil gradation. Okay, and let's weigh it. All right, so 48.10888, what? Grams, gee, grams, absolutely. Write that down, always remember your units, okay? All right, so this one is a little bit different than the last measurement, but it's a measurement, there's always gonna be, you know, some differences. All right, let's next. Okay, so now we finish with the beakers onto the graduated cylinder, all right? So of course, just like last time, we only want to measure the mass of the liquid inside. We don't want to measure the mass of the cylinder itself. So we'll tear it. All right, tear or zero, great. All right, and now I'm gonna fill up this cylinder to 50 mils, all right? Here we go, and I might overshoot it but that's okay. Look at that caramel color. Mm -mm -mm. Secret recipe. Mm, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Ooh. Let's see. Mm. You know, I'm a bit of a type A kind of gal, so here we go. All right. Bottom of the meniscus at 50 mils. Let's weigh it. All right, 51.2554, and that's for the high fructose corn syrup, 50 mils in the graduated cylinder, okay? Let's do it again. Another graduated cylinder, pretty much the same kind. Let's tear it, right? You just kind of have a different All right, so then our last piece of glassware that we're going to be using today is the volumetric flask. Here's two of them. Oh, maybe slightly different flavors. This one's a little taller, but they're both for 50 mils. You can see maybe that there's a line here, and that line marks the 50 mil uh, volume line, okay? And it's not going to be pretty if I try to pour in the high fructose corn syrup coke in here, so I'm going to use the dropper to help me out. Hope this doesn't take too long. Mm. Oh, almost there. Oh, and then just a little bit more. The bottom of that meniscus, when it's at eye level, should hit that, ah, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Right on it. Okay, let's weigh it. Fifty-one point nine five five two grams. All right. Great. See, that's one you can really see that meniscus, huh? You can really see the curvature of the liquid, and the, the bottom of the meniscus is on the line. All right. So now I'm going to do that a couple more times. The same setup, another volumetric flask, filling it up and weighing it, and then uh, we'll give you all the data. All right.